So this person named Kehl Middleton asked in Everything Canva group that can someone help to explain how I would make this template. Okay, so this type of template is known as Sports Team Photo Collage Template. So today I will share how to make this type of photo collage. So let's start with it. So first I will go to Canva here and for this the size is 4 is to 3 and for this I am choosing 1600 cross 1200 pixels. So I will click on create a new design and uh, first I will use this shape here and I will just cover the middle part. Okay. And I will just make it smaller. Okay. And after that, I will just create the collage part first. And then I will create the typography part. Okay. So for creating the photo collage, first I will just scroll down here to find the frames. And I will select this first one, which is in this grid format and I will select and move it right here okay and first I will select the single frame grid okay and I will duplicate it and paste it one here okay and crop out somewhat in the upper part okay so that it looks like a collage part okay now for the next part I will go to grids and click on see all and from here I will choose this three picture grid okay and I will just bring it here and make it smaller because I want to put another picture here also and one in the middle and in here also okay so I will place one grid here and I will make this the same size here so I will just keep it here and I will resize it okay and I will just bring it here and slightly move it here to make it of the same size. So I will need to cover this part. So for that I will select again this single one and I will just paste it here and just create a difference here. Okay, and after that, select it again. And move it here. And make sure both are in the same line and in the middle, select to another grid part and adjust it accordingly okay so this selection is done let's adjust it now i will go for the lower part okay for the lower part i will select this grid and make it bigger like this and duplicate it just paste it here just move it slightly lower okay and now I will select this two photo grid
and I will duplicate it again and put it here. Okay, let's make it slightly smaller. And now let's move it here. Okay, and I will place one here. Okay, so the collage creation of uh, image frames is done. Now it's time to put the images here. So for that, I will select single image for one and two. Okay, and team images for these two and rest I will just randomize and use it. Okay, so for that I will just unselect here and here I will write American football player and go to photos and from here I will first select this image and paste it here adjust it and after that use another image which is this one and paste it here adjust it again ok and now for the team as I said I will select two and I will first select here and first I will select the scroll down and I will first select this image and I will just adjust it okay and in the next part I will select another image okay so let's select this one and move it here okay so team ones are selected and single ones are also selected now I will just randomize the image as I said so for here I will write players okay and after that I will just select this image and put it here after that I will select this image and put it here and I will just adjust it and after that I will just select another image like this one and put it here so let's make this one first Okay, so the collage creation is done with the images part. Now the main work starts here which is the typography part and for that I will click on add page. Okay, and here I will click on text and click on add a heading and I will write senior. Okay, and I will change the font to ultra as this is the font used in the main group. Or the main question asked okay so this is the font which is used and I will just make it bigger okay and I will center it and after that I will just change the O color to white so it becomes invisible and after that I will go to elements here and scroll up to the recently used section and scroll down 
and I will use this helmet which says American football icon okay so I will use this one and just resize it okay so resizing is done now after that as there is a hollow part you can see so I will click on C to use a circle and change the color to the same black color and resize it and move it to the hollow part okay so the hollow part is covered now I will select all of them and group them okay and in the next part I will select the images here so for this I have selected some images so for S I will be using this one so for E I will be using this image so for N I will be using this image For I, I will be using this image. For the helmet part, I will be using this image. And for R, I will be using this image. And now select all the six images from here. and change the transparency to 60s okay now let's work on the design part so for S I will start and I will place the S part here and I will just resize it so that the S is covered here and also the image is visible now for E part I will work it here so one thing you have to keep it in mind that you don't override any type of image so these two images are overriding so you have to crop this part so that these two images don't override on each other next this one and I will just make it smaller and place it here now let's do for I let's do for the helmet so I I have to crop because it is covering the helmet part now let's do for the helmet part now let's do for the R so for the R I will bring the image in this part okay and I will just crop this part okay so this is ready and now I will select all the images from here by pressing shift and just press ctrl plus x to cut this image and add page and add this image and now just increase the transparency of all of them to 100 okay and after that just download this page 2 and 3 from here click on download make sure it is in PNG and just download this page 2 and 3 not the page 1 please make sure about that and click on download so when the downloading is done click on add page and after that just re-upload both the images which you just downloaded go to apps click on blend
and click on this blend image app for the bottom layer i will be using this text layer and for the top layer i will use this uh, images layer and make sure the blend mode is in screen and just go to page one and click on add to design okay and after that click on bg remover to remove the background and after that just bring the image here hold on control so that the image doesn't blend with any of the design or the frames okay now when this is done now let's crop it till here and uh, our part also okay and i will change this gray color to white but still the work is not done so for this i will select this text part and go to edit and scroll down to find shadows click on outline and scroll down and select this one as 20 and change the color to white and just click outside so that the effect is done here So the effect is done here as you can see. Now let's right click it, go to layer, show layers and bring this white color also above. Okay, now let's crop the white layers slightly. From the top and from the bottom so that it looks like this. So your design is ready. So hope you like this tutorial and hope you learned something out of it. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. Thank you.